froggy out here, huh? Yeah, yeah, a little froggy. Hey, uh... Like, if I were starting right now in real estate fresh, I would be trying to build business, get uh, contact information, build a database. Well, I think we got a good place to start. Which is That's what you right said direction. 10 minutes ago. I know. So what else? What else do you want to talk with you about? I mean, I'm like, I'm super stoked about it. Check it. Check it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Curtis Taylor with USA Home Inspections. Chris Courtright, he's just going to um, give you an update on why Cam and what we're all about. the delay, you know, when you're waiting for the movie to start, and you're like, uh, don't, don't it. How's everybody doing this morning? Y'all ready to learn some stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys ready to make more money after this, right? He's going to teach you a lot of stuff this morning. All right, I'm the YPN co-chair. Uh, Bryce Peak is my other co-chair right over there. Um, what YPN is about is we help a lot of the other committees uh, do what they have to do, and we also sponsor the charity event every year. Um, what we do is uh, we pick a local community charity and we sponsor them because a lot of the local charities need extra funding and so we go out there and we have a charity event here and it's a lot of fun. Um, not really a good description. I'm still waking up. I haven't had my coffee this morning so don't mind me. Um, I was surfing on the web about a, about a year ago, actually, and I started I was just lis listening for other people's ideas on real estate and what made them successful in that, and I stumbled across one of his podcasts, so I started following it, implemented a lot of the uh, tools and techniques with sales calls and just what you do with the just numbers to get to be successful and to keep that mindset. Every day, uh, Ricky is a agent, single agent with Remax, out of Orange Beach, Alabama. Um, his numbers—he's just crushing it up there. Thirty-nine million on his own last year, just in sales. So, um, without further delay, I know a lot of you guys have a lot of stuff going on today. So let's let him uh, get started. Ricky, it's all you. Appreciate it. Good morning, guys. How we doing? Good morning. Um, thank you guys so much for having me. Um, I'm really excited to be here. Um, you guys are, I feel like you guys are going to get a lot out of this. Um, how many, like, is everybody here in real estate? How many, is everybody in real estate? How many newer agents? Wow. 
my advice for you newer guys is never raise your hand or admit that you're a new agent. <laughs> I learned really early on that conversation, real conversation, that's the key to all closings. It took me, right, I did close to $40 million last year. When I first started in real estate, eight months to make my first sale. And agents come to me all the time now that are two, three, four months in the business and say, I'm not, I haven't sold anything. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. You know, it took me eight months to make my first sale, so welcome to the club. And not even looking back, but at the time when this happened, I am literally thinking to myself, this is awesome. Because there were 40 and 50 and even 60 year old guys right next to me that were, that were going through the same stuff as I went through when I'm 25. And I knew that that was a blessing because I was about to learn the greatest lessons of business and life at such an early age where these guys that were right next to me, my partners, are having to learn it at 40, 50, and 60 years old. Nobody cares that you're number one. I get less engagement on social media stuff where I'm saying I'm number one than anything else. For one thing, everybody says I'm number one. So it almost discredits you that you're saying it. And if you're really number one, you don't have to say it. See guys, when, when I call and I establish the relationship, I get the email, they felt good, they thought we had a good conversation. Then they start getting this weekly email from me. The email does all the heavy lifting for me. When it comes every single week on the same day forever, it shows them how consistent I am and professional and hardworking and knowledgeable, right? It, it, it embodies everything that I am. Like my personality goes through the email because I design it every week. I take an hour to design it every single week. It's not automated. I sit down, I come up with what it's going to say, and, and I physically do it. Not my assistant, me. Because that is... That's the portal between me and all my clients. And it has to be the way I think it needs to be. And so, but it does all the heavy lifting for me. Like, it stays in front of them. It builds the relationships. They call me when they get ready. That's the kind of business you want is when people call you. When they're ready to do something. And there's no competition. When people call me, they've been getting my email for five years. They're, they're not going to call any other agents. They're only going to deal with me. And so it creates loyalty as well as, uh, you know, build strong relationships. So um, I think that that's what you guys, uh, you know, should really kind of think about. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a weekly email, but you have to, have to stay in front of people on a consistent basis to stay relative and just make sure that you're not trying to pressure anybody into doing anything, but be there when they, when they get ready. Makes sense? Makes sense. Thank you guys. Me? Uh, yeah. Uh, your background, you didn't really share everything, but as far as, have you ever been uh, like a, you're a broker associate, but you've not had any agents working with you or for you? Or... I've, tried, I've, I've tried to do a team one time. <laughs> <laughs> I think y'all know the rest of the story. <laughs>